What's up everybody? Dr. Adam Rajul, board certified family medicine physician and CEO of Lion Edge Nutrition. We have uh, two grams of betaine, also known as uh, trimethylglycine. Betaine anhydrous, also known as trimethylglycine, is an organic vitamin and amino acid which occurs in plants, originally found in sugar beets. Betaine's main mechanism involves methylation of homocysteine to form methionine. Methionine is an essential amino acid which plays a role in both protein and creatine synthesis. By decreasing homocysteine levels, betaine also plays a role in the reduction of inflammation and optimization of insulin levels which can further aid in muscle growth and recovery. One study found athletes taking 1.25 grams of betaine twice daily had an increase in muscle strength by 25% and muscle power by 20% compared to the placebo group. Another study found supplementing with 1.25 grams of betaine twice daily increased muscle mass by 4 pounds and arm size by 10% and decreasing body fat by 7 pounds while the placebo group experienced no significant changes. Betaine is highly synergistic when taken with creatine. By preventing the production of homocysteine, betaine leads to higher absorption as well as utilization rate of supplemental creatine because more of it can be used without being broken down and converted into creatinine. Betaine has also been found to increase nitric oxide levels which could further promote muscle pump, strength, and size. Betaine is a crucial ingredient in both pre- and post-workout periods. It provided at a minimum clinical dosage of 1.25 grams. Uh, this uh, ingredient has had tons of studies uh, supporting its, its uh, benefits. Um, greater strength and endurance uh, during recovery. Um, you have an increase in aerobic and overall anaerobic uh, performance. And uh, they've actually even done studies on uh, max bench press, uh, max squats, and the participants that were uh, taking at least two grams of betaine uh, per day achieved a significant increase in, in both of those uh, exercises. Mm -hmm.